It's the most wonderful time of the year and you want to make some snow. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to make some falling snow. I hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday season so far. It's uh, almost December, <laughs> not quite December yet. And I don't usually like talking about Christmas before Thanksgiving, but since it's the tutorial nature, we gotta get some stuff done before the holiday season comes so you can make whatever you're trying to make for the season. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit B to box select over top of our cube and our lamp and get rid of default cube and lamp. I'm sorry, goodbye default cube. We're gonna go ahead and select our camera and hit Alt R to clear rotation and Alt G to clear location, RX90 on my numpad and enter to confirm that, move the camera back behind the grid and hit zero to go into your camera's view. Now that we have everything all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift A and add in a plane. We can hit S to scale up our plane uh, to just above, to just bigger than the camera's view and we'll move it up out of the camera's frame. Now you can see we want this back line of the 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 plane to be as big as as the, as big as the width of the camera. So we'll go ahead and scale that up until it is about the same size then we'll move it up right about there. So now we have this huge plane which is pretty much the size of our grid uh, and now we have the ability to go ahead and start uh, animating the snow. So I'm gonna get that as close as is possible so we don't have any time wasting as soon as the snow falls uh, it, it starts getting into the camera's view. Now this is pointing upwards. We need it to point downward because the snow is going to come up and then fall down, which is not what we want. So we'll go ahead and hit RX 180 uh, on my numpad and then hit enter. So now our plane is facing downward, so they will just fall straight down. Uh, if I were to go ahead and do and not rotate, you can see if I add a particle system and then hit play, the particles go up and then come down. You see them kind of bouncing upwards here and then going down. That's not what we need. If I rotate this. Uh, if I rotate it by 180, you can see now that they're not popping through the top. They're just falling straight down, which is what we need. So uh, I, we can go ahead. And now we have rain. <laughs> this looks like rain, uh, but we don't need rain. We need snow. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple of things. We're going to go scroll all the way down in the particle tab here and change the uh, field weights. And we're going to turn the gravity way down to somewhere around 0.1, somewhere close to there. 0 0.09 something like that now you can see our particles are, are disappearing halfway in the middle of our shot because that's the, the lifetime is not set high enough so I'm gonna go ahead and decide what the last frame of our animation I want to be and I'm gonna leave it at 250 so we're gonna make sure our lifetime is all the way to at least 300 we're gonna do something like that uh, and what I want to do now is we'll go ahead and turn the random all the way up so some of the particles die before 300 some die after a little bit um, but they're not exactly all perfect. Now you can see this is going quite a bit further than we need it to go, so we can actually turn the lifetime down to maybe, uh, we can probably get away with 200 to be honest with you. It's not going to die before the cam before it gets out of the camera. Well, we'll do uh, 250 instead, something like that. Yeah, and we'll do it just to the end of our actual uh, frame. We could uh, turn the random a little little bit less down so they're not popping away in the camera's view. I, I don't want them to pop away in the camera's view. So if you see any pop out, uh, yeah, it looks good. All right, so 250, zero random. We don't need random for this. Um, and what we'll do is we'll scroll on down to Brunoian, Brownian, however you say it, you never know. Uh, I'm going to turn that up a bit, maybe somewhere around five or six. I think five looks pretty good. I want to turn the gravity down a little bit more as well. Now we're on 0 0.05 for this. I want to go ahead and also turn the damp very slightly up to like, oh man, so, so, not that much. All right. Uh, enough that it slows down, but not enough that it actually stops moving. Um, so I think that looks pretty good right there. So what is that? 0 0.023, or we can just do most likely 0 0.02. Uh, 0.02, yeah. That looks pretty good. We have a couple of snow pieces in the front of the camera moving faster, the ones in the back moving less fast, of course, obviously. We can go ahead and do a couple of more things. I think I want a little bit more particles here, so we'll go ahead and bump this up to 3,000 instead of 1,000. Um, we will also make sure this is coming from the volume and random uh, for the emission settings here. And, of course, we'll scroll on down. And I think this is the part where we can go ahead and actually change our, uh, well, let's do that last. We'll, we'll add in a, a little bit of a force field here because I want a little bit of wind, not a lot, but a little bit. So we'll go ahead and add in a, a shift A 
force field, wind, and now you can see it's pointing straight up so the, the snow particles aren't falling anymore, which is a really cool effect. We could do that later on, but I'll go ahead and, and hit RX90 on my keyboard, then RZ90 to rotate it over that direction. We can we can leave it d directly in the center, actually, to be honest with you. We will we'll scale it down a little bit so it's not as distracting, and we can go ahead and make sure the strength isn't as high as it is right now because it's kind of pushing them away, which is not what we need. We want to be very, very minimal just so they're very slowly moving in that direction over there, and we'll also go ahead and make sure R, Y, and we'll move it downwards a little bit so they fall down as well as over to the right hand side so that looks pretty good now i don't think the particles are falling fast enough so what we'll go we'll go ahead and do is we'll turn the gravity up just a little bit something about right there maybe i think that looks pretty good yeah something like that yeah looking good looking good looking good all right so now we have it going very slightly to the right hand side not enough so you can actually tell now what i want to do is we can do a couple different things here if you're going for more realistic slow snow you most likely wouldn't make these big snow snowflake looking uh designs but i think I, I think we'll do both today we'll create a snowflake looking design and we'll also create a regular just like a snow looking dot um as you see it in real life so I'll hit 5, 7 on my numpad to go into the top facing view. We'll hit shift A and we'll add in a plane. Uh, and for this, what this plane will do is we will go ahead and hit uh, tab on my keyboard to go into edit mode. And we will actually listen to this first. We'll add in a modifier. This modifier will be the mirror modifier. And we'll move it off to the side of, uh, of, our, of our scene on the left hand side or the right hand side. It doesn't matter what side. Um, and we'll make sure this is mirrored around the anything, the plane. And now we can go ahead and make sure these are connected by hitting, hitting clipping on. And we can just make sure that when we pull our vertices together and tab, we hit tab, we go to edit mode. See how we pull our vertices together with G, uh, X, and now they will link together, which is what we need. So that looks pretty good like that. I want to go ahead and do one more thing. Now that we have that set up, we can go ahead and hit shift A and add in a cylinder. This cylinder will have only what is it five or six yeah we'll do five vertices and we will make sure that the 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 depth is zero uh, or 0.1 however low you can get it is what you should do as you know instead of doing that we will go ahead and just grab that we'll, yeah, we'll do that and we'll just grab the top face we'll go to face select mode grab the top face just hit uh uh control well, alt Oh, no, 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 that's the play button. Alt-I, or Control-I. Control-I to select, invert, select everything except for that top face. Hit Delete, Faces, and now we only have that topmost face there. Hopefully all that just made sense. We'll go ahead and hit 7 on my numpad to go back into the top-facing view. We'll hit S to scale up our, uh, our, our shape here. And we'll hit I to inset it, and then we'll, like, we'll scale our mouse, well, hit I to inset it, and then scale our, scroll that down to about that width maybe and then we'll hit uh, delete faces now we have this uh, this this shape right here that is hollow in the in, in the center we'll go ahead and, and scale down our plane about right there and we'll move it back together and make sure our uh, our, our, our edges are touching there uh, we can go ahead and also we can rotate this on the z-axis and we can still make the make sure these vertices are touching by making sure we pull them back together um, there we go Looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is grab this edge right here, and we can just hit G to move this off into that area right there, and we'll make that meet in the center. Still, we'll make that meet in the center. Still, I just accidentally went to all different layers. There we go. Uh, and then we can also duplicate this, move it down, hit Shift A to duplicate. By the way, uh, and then we can just do a couple different patterns like how snowflakes look. You know, uh, so we'll rotate that R Z, and we'll move this down here R Z. Something like that, so we have a little bit of a support for the support for the snowflake here. Do that down, and then of course we have all of those you know intricacies going out on the you know on the edge of the snowflake here. We can do that. Uh, scale that down. Add in a plane. Uh, we'll just grab the top edge, and we'll hit E to extrude, and hit S to scale it, and then we'll pull it up uh, like that. And then we'll hit E to extrude, uh, Y to move it on the Y axis, then S to scale down, about right there. E once again, Y to move it on the Y axis, scale it down uh, to about right there. 